G'day guys, welcome back to Smoko, episode two. Today I am going to be making a very simple recipe. I've seen it getting around the traps, so I thought I'd give it a crack myself. It is three ingredient um, fruitcake. Now, it doesn't come much easier than this. It is simply um, chocolate milk, uh, coffee flavoured milk would be just as fine, um, whatever flavour you'd like I suppose. Um, dried fruit and some self-raising flour. Chuck it all together, chuck it in the oven. So I thought I'll try and keep it pretty much what everyone reckons and we'll see how it goes. So I've got in here um, 500 ml of um, chocolate flavoured milk. Uh, we all used to know it as Big M. And there's so many different types around now. Pick whatever one you like the most. I've had that soak for probably look, probably four hours um, with the fruit. So there is 600 ml of your milk. There's about 500 grams of your dried fruit. So I just had that soaking there. Um, give it a chance to take in some of that um, moisture and just pump up the fruit a little bit. So first of all, we need, that's just a rough, rough um, guesstimate, um, about two and a half cups of self-raising flour. Oh, oh. So. I'll go a little bit less because I can always add a little bit more. That's probably about two and a quarter in there at the moment. I've got to be a bit less keen to spin this thing. I always seem to throw the flour everywhere. That's probably not necessary to sieve the flour, but don't matter. All right, so so from here, just simply chuck it all in. Now what we're looking for here is a just just a, a cake batter consistency. You just want to have it so it, yeah, so it's um not too thick, not too thin. So I reckon I'm gonna have to add a little bit more flour there. Just a little bit, don't go too crazy with it. Yeah, it's looking a bit better. So I'm pretty happy with that. Got myself a little non-stick tin here, and it's actually got a removable base in it, so I just thought I liked it because it had a little bit of a higher side. So I'll just pretty much tip all this into here. Now as far as the dried fruit goes, chuck in it what you like. Um, you know, or whatever you got on hand. You know, play with the flavours a bit. I mean, geez, you could add... I mean, I haven't even tried this, but I was thinking last night, maybe like dried, you know, like dried cranberries, but, and white chocolate. You know, get some white, white chocolate chips with the cranberries through that. Um, you know, I can't see why it wouldn't work. I have to try it one time. But um, yeah, you just need to uh, just experiment. Okay. That's how a lot like that's how this would have been first discovered. It actually tastes all right too. I've got my oven preheating now. That should be sitting around that 200 degree mark. Be aware that that temperature is going to drop once you add add this to it. So um, what I like to do is just keep the coals to the outside of the the lid a bit. So 
you're not going to burn the, the top too quickly because it's going to be a longer cook. Um, and then probably halfway through that um, cook, rotate the, the camp oven and the lid just, just so you change any hot spot that might be there. And then have a look at there in the last you know 10 minutes or so and just just see how the top's going if it's not really starting to get much color on it just start pushing those those coals in the middle a bit to just concentrate a little bit more heat in the middle there to, to brown it off but i'll um i'll bang her in and we'll um, see how she goes As you can see, I haven't got a great deal of coals up top there, but that oven I just tested, look, she's sitting around 210. So I might just scrape a little bit more to the outside there. And um, I'll check it in about 10 minutes. Just make sure she's not getting too hot. And um, yeah, I'll keep you posted. So we're about halfway through the cook. I've just rotated the camp oven about 180 degrees in the lid. Actually, coming up rather nicely. Alrighty, let's check this out. So these longer, look at that. It's been about 40 minutes. Still enough heat there. I've got those coals to the outside, so it shouldn't be burning much more in the middle there, so. Monitor that. Righto, so it's been about an hour and ten minutes. It's been a bit longer than I expected, but she's a little bit oh she look she's she's well done on the top. But I'm open now. Well that's coming out clean. So I think it's time to bring her out. Alright, so she's been in there for, you know, as I say, about an hour and ten. It's a little bit well done on the top, but look, I don't think it looks too bad. It should be, oh, that. that's handy. I'm going to do it. Don't seem too bad. So I'll let that cool for a bit. And um, I'll cut her up and we'll see what it's like inside. Not these cut while it's still hot though. When I say hot, it's freaking hot. Right. Yeah. So that was in for approximately for an hour and ten minutes. Um, I was a bit worried that I went a bit overboard, but no, I'm. Very happy with that. It's really bright, isn't it? This is Emily in her cow pants. Yep. Gotta represent the cow pants. 
We've met Trace now, she loves the camera. <laughs> now, that's your cuppa. That's your cuppa. Thank you very much. Oh dear, that's good. All right, I'm just going to dig straight in. Now Trace isn't a big fan of fruit cake, but that's good. <laughs> Not bad at all. That's really good. That's that's. It's different. It's a lot lighter than a fruit cake. Yeah, it's not, it's not not overly dense, and it's not overly sweet. You can barely taste the like the chocolate in it. With some butter, I reckon. Yep, yeah, I got butter here. Want some butter? Um, I've got a little knife for you. What do you reckon, Doug? Hmm. No, it's, it's it's not bad. Good size. <laughs> it's not hit like a fruit cake is quite heavy and 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 whatnot where this isn't. So I haven't used like um your sultana sort of mix. I've used a a current mm. mix and some cranberries in there, which are always good. It's really good. With I'd, butter. I know if I said earlier, but I'd like to actually try and make it with um cranberries and some like white chocolate chips. I reckon that might be a nice mix. Um, I did try as a bit of an experiment the other day with some um, pineapple and I used a, I was like a chuck hon a chuck honeycomb um, milk, but it didn't work, it was really stodgy. I think the pineapple was just too wet and it just made it, like it just, yeah, just turned into a bit of a stodgy mess. Tasted great, because I put a cinnamon sugar um, coating on the top tasted really good but yeah the consistency just didn't work i'd like to try it again maybe get some granny smith apples and slice them really thinly um, or even you know small diced granny smith and do it that way but it's one of those things try different flavors combinations but it's risen really well and as a an afternoon smoko um treat sensational even the and the surface of it's got a nice little crust to it. And packed full of fruit. But yeah, just allow for that longer cook time. What you could do, here's a slightly larger um, round tin. So this is like a high tin. It's a little bit narrower. So it's gonna take a little bit longer to cook in the middle because of the height. Go a little bit wider so it's not as high. And you could probably drop your cook time by about oh, 10 to 15 minutes. But yeah, don't go too hot to start with, because um, yeah, it is a it is a longer cook. But um, as far as going with a cup of tea, good combination. And um, yeah, all I can say is thanks for watching. I'll um, might have to feed some to the dogs because they they have, they have some ladies over here. Come here. Oh, come on, mate. What's up? What's up? Good boy. Val? That's my finger. I No, I, that is my finger. There was nothing on it. I gave it to Bella. One, two. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.